Okay, so this is our second test. We've got the external microphone hooked up to the Acaso V50. No, that's not what I have. It's the Acaso Brave 6 Plus with the Acaso external microphone. I'm hoping that it sounds okay. The first test that I took, it showed that the when you hook up the external microphone, it shows a little external microphone on the display. But when I got back, it was nothing but wind noise. So either the microphone is just not going to work with this helmet, or if that's the case, then I'm going to have to return the camera because the only reason why I got this particular camera is because it seemed like a good deal. And it seemed like, you know, the external mic would be fine. Uh, I essentially have the same setup as my Get Up Get 2. Uh, external microphone is in the same position. All of my other videos have been recorded with that camera. And the sound quality is fine. And that camera actually has the options within the, the camera software to change the microphone sensitivity. I have not seen any options to do that with this camera. And if that's the case, that, that that's a bad deal. Because there's no, it, at least for my use case, it's a bad deal. I wouldn't, we'll see. I, I don't want to jump to conclusions. I just want to see what the, I'm recording 4K. 30 frames a second, H.264 encoder. I don't know if that makes a difference. We're gonna go down the street, turn around, go back. We'll turn into this neighborhood right here. It's just a short test video. I don't want to do a long video and then get back and it'd be all wind noise again. I, I just got back from like a 30 minute ride. And that was, that was really disappointing. So, so far, like my first impressions of this camera, I do like the fact that it is, is a very responsive touchscreen. It seemed pretty easy to get set up. And that I liked, it was pretty quick. It was not, a bunch of button pushing to get through multiple screens, the, you know, you, the, the swiping motions and everything to do different things. It, it was actually really surprising. I'm hoping that the image quality is a lot better than my get up and that the sound quality is on par. I'm gonna wait for this yellow guy to go. So this is not going to be a long video and we're really not talking about motorcycle stuff at all today. I am on my Honda Shadow. I don't think I've made a video with the new risers or the new bar, <laughs> bars, but it's extremely comfortable now. I can ride this thing for ever. Granted, if I have the right pants on. <laughs> Last weekend I rode uh, about 300 miles and on Sunday, I, I rode about 90 miles on Sunday and it was so hot that I put on like athletic shorts. I know that's a stupid thing to do, but whatever. It was back roads in Kansas. Um, but my legs were just completely covered with bugs. And yeah, I didn't get swamp ass but the wind kept blowing up into my shorts and everything was flapping. And so my inner thigh and my lower hamstring area on both legs was just completely rubbed raw. And honestly, I would have been fine wearing jeans because I was going fast enough that the wind would just keep everything nice and, you know, cool. So, anywho, I'm gonna go plug this thing into the camera or the computer, see how it sounds, hopefully, this time we got a good sound out of it. Uh, hopefully the video looks good, and if everything is good, then you'll see it on YouTube. If it's garbage, I'm gonna put this thing back in the box and ship it back, because 
I'll just use my get up. So I've got high hopes. I saw a lot of good reviews, which is why I got it. So I'm hoping that I can add to that list of reviews. So I'll catch you guys later. Uh, bye.